Hi everyone, this is Rudrap Sandhu, and I'm playing a role as judge. And here's my two lawyers, um, Mianka Roda and Rajendeep Singh. And what's the case, Mianka? Uh, so I will be playing as a role of I will be playing the role of lawyer for the Duco events, who has charged Gordon Ramsay for cancelling his event in uh, that of that was a charity dinner for a girl in Pittsburgh suffering from some serious illness. But he cancelled the event due to some unforeseen issues. So I would like my another lawyer to start the proceedings or introduce himself. Hello, Hello. my name is Rajendeep Singh and I am the lawyer of the Gordon Ramsay. The Duco Vents has filed a, filed a case against us. Like we have uh, not fulfilled the contract with them of the event. So today I will be here. I am here to give my answers to the questions. Okay. Thank you. So first of all, I would like to introduce Duco Events to each and every person sitting over here. Duco Events is the, one of the biggest Asian Pacific and one of the leading event management organization firm in Australian and New Zealand continent. That has hosted all the big events for the country in field of sports and celebrity dinners. They have organized a lot of big promotional events too. Duco events work in close partnership with public sector industries and all big private firms of Pacific and Asian region. Few of the big clients for Duco events are New Zealand Cricket Association, Australian Cricket Association and national rugby teams. The main and the major events that were hosted by the Duco event was uh, ICC or uh, International Cricket Council World Cup in 2015 that was held in Australian and New Zealand continent. So I would like my fellow lawyer to start with R Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, the Gordon oh. Ramsay, the chef, like the Duco, Duco event organized the charity function in the New Zealand. Like I was... My, uh, my prosecution was there. I have to go there to attend the event as it was a charity event. So we already have taken a fee, but the there was some urgent work like my client's mother was not well. So he was not able to attend the function. So that's why the Duke events are saying like my client has- Here, here I would like to contradict uh, my fellow lawyer on the- point of uh, his mother was ill uh, as per the reports that we have received it was that his mother suffered a minor heart illness or something and was discharged from the hospital before the event was organized or the before the day of event in this case he could have been possibly over there and his presence would have been valued by the company and in, by the dinner staff here I would like to say like that, first of all, I would like to give an example of the reason, reasonable forcibility. The party claiming to suffer a loss due to the contract not being fulfilled must show that the other party could uh, foresee their actions would result in a loss. The thing is like it was unpredictable. The uh, my my client ha would have attended the function, but his her mother was uh, got a, a heart attack, so he has to go. And he was not having any personal attention of not attending the event, but so, it was a sudden. It was a sudden, so he has to go. If, and it is very difficult like to, to come to the event, like if there is some problem in the family, so it is very difficult to attend the functions at that time. I can understand that, but I will like contradict you once again. In 2013, when this all started, Ramsey, the winner of 11 Michelin star, I, we all know that, <coughs> excuse me, uh, or I started a contract with Duco events that said that they, they will charge him. He will charge $100,000 for each and every single appearance in the court or in the New Zealand. As per the lawsuit that has been filed against him right now, uh, running against that we are fighting right now. He has charged us $100,000 from my client Duco events for a single dinner event that was to be held 
in Auckland as a charity event for a Pittsburgh girl who was suffering from some kind of serious illness and to get the funds for her treatment. So Gordon Ramsay cancelled the event a week ago, I think so. And because of her mother suffering from a minor heart illness or so, but when her mother, when his mother was discharged from the hospital, the, he had got much plenty amount of or ample amount of time to be present in the dinner and help the Pittsburgh girl too. Yes, that was possible, but you know that it is very difficult to come to the event after such a big mishappening with but, the family members. Okay, but. That's all possible. That's that's like act of God. We can't do anything in that. But here I would like to say that this is clearly a breach of contract. So the reasons behind this breach are like offer and acceptance. First of all, what is a like offer and what is a offer as offer and acceptance for being in contract means that something valuable had been exchanged between the parties. So in this case, Gordon Ramsay signed a contract in 2013 with Duco Events stating to be present in their events and charge fees of $100,000 for each every appearance, which he was paid for this charity dinner too. Therefore, there was completely a breach of contract by him. Secondly, the breach was due to his negligency or we can say intentions. As per the law, there is a breach of contract if someone breaches the contract negligently or innocently or intentionally. In this situation, Ramsey first cancelled his appearance due to his mother suffering from heart attack that was justified as his mother just suffered a minor heart issue and was discharged before the time of his appearance in Auckland. The state, this states that he just breached the contract intentionally by telling the lie on the forsake of his mother. Therefore, he breached the contract. Thirdly, the point just states that breach of contract is like damages incurred by the Duco events. This contract was breached by Ramsey as per the damages incurred by what Duco event and the girl waiting for her treatment money due to Ramsey's absence and cancellation as Duco events has refunded back the money received by selling 1,600 tickets in the country and due to this promise, money was not sent to due to this promised act, money wasn't sent to the girl in Pittsburgh. So, would you like to say something for on this, or do you have any? Yeah, so, first of thing, no. I on I would like to say like no breach of contract was dismissed as it was all mishappening sudden. So he has to go. And the second thing, like there was no attempt done by the by my Duco Vents company. They did not attempt to mit mitigate. Like they could have moved the dates forward, but they did not try it about movie changing uh, the dates of like the to, events. Of I would like to stop you for a minute over here as we cannot move the dinner or the events as a charity date because the girl who needed the money at that time was uh, utmost importance. And for her treatment before something, some mishappening would have happened, we would have, we had to organize the dinner before the date. But... The reason, the, my, my thing is, my point is like no breach of contract was uh, d done between the company and the uh, my client and there was nothing to be that was not maintained or that was not fulfilled. So this is not a proper case to be filed against my client. So, so I think this I is... Would a, like to, uh, I would like to stop you here for a minute as there was three elements of a contract that were like broken by Gordon Ramsay. First of all was an offer and acceptance. There should be a legal offer and acceptance between both the parties present in the contract. And Gordon Ramsay asked for $100,000, which he was paid for that. And he canceled the show because of his intentions clearly. First, secondly, the consideration, which means that a value that is exchanged between both the parties in making the contract, same thing, $100,000 that were paid for the for his presence at the dinner. And this is also considered as a breach of contract capacity. States that each party must be legally able to enter the contract. And they were both legally able. And I think so they are both adults who 
entered the contract and right now they are fighting for it in the final i would like to say to the judge like there were uh, there was not any personal tension of my client to break the contract as there was a mishap happening in his family that's why he did not he was not able to attend the event and the second thing is uh, the company the doko event company did not attempt to mitigate the date they can they would uh, might have forward the date or we can attend the function later on so that's all my you know you want so at the end i would like to just i would like to claim the damages that the duco event had suffered due to his absence in 2013 duco events and gordon ramsay came into the contractual agreement stating events to be held in new zealand and he will be present over there for the charge of 100000 dollars event in which he will be for each and every event he will be invited for for the fundraisers for pittsburgh the pittsburgh girl ramsay charged 100000 dollar to but his appearance wasn't there but an event which caused great loss to duco events and the girl both financially and mentally so i would like to ask for the damages or the claims for the damages on the basis of few points that is first is existence of a valid contract as there was a valid contract that was breached among the parties as 100000 dollars were exchanged between them secondly we had a loss of 1600 tickets and money was refunded to the guests who were who wanted to come to the dinner and join us for that thirdly the girl who was waiting for her treatment money didn't receive that and something something would have happened i want gordon ramsay or his judge or his lawyer sorry to be at his play, at her place and just consider something justification secondly is the justification of non performance which is justified by his absence only there was a breach of contract and which he was entitled to do which he was entitled for the reason that his mother suffered from a major heart attack which was later founded that mother just suffered with a minor heart issue and coming to the and cancel the coming to show because of his own intentions <clears throat> third thing that on the basis of which i want to claim the damages is like damage to the defendant a duco event suffered lot due to star gordon ramsay and the cancellation of both the this cancellation has affected us both financially and mentally not because of the 1600 money that we have paid to the chef uh the tickets we have sold but the goodwill of our firm has also gone down because of its cancellation so i would like judge to give a considerable judgment on this that is like like by both of us okay after hearing the arguments of both and the court decide um if this case uh, if ever goes to the court and it will be in the favor of gordon ramsay because he is not liable to pay any damage to doko events because uh, there is no breach of contract on on his behalf according to law doko uh, events need to prove three things to claim the damage to uh, <clears throat> first is reasonable uh, possibility second attempt to uh, measure it because the party claim to suffer a loss uh, due to contract on uh, not being fulfilled must to the other party could forces their action would result in a loss however in this case this is possible to for God, gordon ramsay that his mother suffer a heart attack in the degree uh, in the future or and it was not in the intention of his part and the degree of a heart attack was later discovered and it was not uh, possible to predict it and second attempt to uh, mitigate and the gondon mc must prove that uh, he attempted to migrate or uh, reduce the loss and if no actions are taken on the behalf to uh, reduce his uh, loss then the damage was uh, would not be awarded in this case there is no such action taken on the company behalf they could have moved the dates forward to any other action they didn't and and there is no uh, reliable of uh, the dc uh, received any damage and this case is good in the favor of uh, governor ramsey and this case is dismissed and do you have any thank you thank you thank you, thank you.